our local beaches ready with Memorial Day coming up right around the corner. After that pretty tough winter, we sent NBC 10's RJ Heim out to see if everything's in order for the crowds that are coming very soon. Scarborough Beach North is one of three Rhode Island State beaches already opened weekends, weather permitting until the seven day a week rollout starting Memorial Day weekend. I don't drive, so I come right here on the bus and it's uh, more convenient and wake up early and stop my day. Always. It's always clean. Sometimes, sometimes I find money in the water. <laughs> I swear. Who says you can't get rich at the beach? Diving for dollars. Roger Wheeler State Beach and Musquamacut State Beach are the other two, all three with lifeguards this weekend. We have our maintenance crews out there. We have uh, beach cleaners, uh, backhoes, bobcats, moving all the sand back, grading it, cleaning it. Now, residents and taxpayers in the town of Westerly who like to use the Westerly Town Beach Pavilion here will find that the building is not quite ready. A few more weeks are needed to finish the federally funded $1.1 million reconstruction. It was damaged in Superstorm Sandy back in 2012, now moved back further from the beach and higher up to comply with strict new codes. The last FEMA paperwork wasn't processed and approved until last fall. We signed the contract on October 30th and began construction right away. And then did they did what they could through the winter and were hung up a little bit by the continual storms. Beach access is still available, as well as parking for westerly property owners and residents that pay the $60 annual fee. Meanwhile, all of Musquamacut is back after the millions of dollars in damage from Sandy. Countless hours of rebuilding and repairs, up to code, ready to once again bring in beachgoers by the hundreds of thousands, generating more tax revenue for the Ocean State than any other Washington County beach community. R.J. Heim, NBC 10 News.